Yo, what's up guys let's look at the special event shop because i think around this time is probably the time that everyone bought most of the stuff in the shop i got about 40k points right now may have spent a little bit but i would say for about like 15k ish you finish the whole shop or about like 20k ish you finish the whole shop and afterward you can start buying a lot of energy so if you buy a lot of energy you don't get the best of trades. Like, it's not the kind of trade we had with the AC collab. I think that one was very good. Also, with the Witcher collab, we had a better trade. But there's also another thing that you can buy instead of this energy, which is unknown scrolls. Uh, might you think unknown scrolls say, why the hell do I need unknown scrolls? Well, then you have missed a video that I posted before. But we're going to do the math on this, which one is better to buy. But first, let me quickly explain why do you want to get unknown scrolls? Well, if you get unknown scrolls, you can summon unknown scrolls for folders and that folder all of that stuff in here you can use to get six stars might you ask like say why the hell do i need six stars well probably you don't but you need six stars or well you don't really need six stars but what you can do with six stars is get six stars make a six star and then you get 200 energy so instead of rather than just buying the energy right away you can get like a different route to also get energy plus you get double exp plus you get this thing Plus, you might think like, okay, why would I need like oh, another math six star? Well, you can simply feed in those math six stars. In this case, I'm just making a lot of maths. You can feed those in for EXP. So that is a different way to also get EXP on your units. It does take quite a lot for them to actually get all the way to max level because you need 42 of a six star level one to feed into a unit to go from level one to level 40. But then again, that does also save you a decent amount of energy as well for doing that. However, keep in mind, this method does cost you mana because, well, you just have to evolve every time and it costs you mana. Might you think like, oh, but I have a lot more things that are more useful to six star. Six star those first. So I would say every copy of an LD3, every copy of an LD4, all of your net fives that are unique, the siege dupes, net fives that you want to do, make all of those into six star first and then start thinking about making all of those maps into six star or whatever unit you want to put into six star and just get your energy that way so now we established i have like another video i will link that down below that has a little bit more in depth about all of this but now we established like okay we can use unknown scrolls to get towards energy as well and then we can start claiming those and maybe you've seen it in the past before i got like close to five thousand hours of double exp at the moment so that's just quite a bit but let's do the math and see which one of the buys is actually better because it, it neither of them seems like a very good buy so let's look at that you could also i think for more beginner accounts getting the amount of um, mana that you have over here is definitely not bad like 85 mana or 85 mil mana is quite a lot of mana so if you're struggling on mana i think mana might not be that bad of a buy but Let's do the math on these two first, and then we're going to look at like how the mana would fare with this as well. So the trade-offs would be so the trade-offs would be either for energy 120 points for 20 or 100 for 50. So we're just going to make the assumption of we have a points amount of 10,000, and we're going to use them for both. So the amount of trades for energy we can make is 83, and then that. So let's see how many uh, you get. So that either means you get 1600 something on energy or you get 5000 unknown scrolls. Well, let's translate unknown scrolls to energy. Well, first we need to know the unknown scroll rate. These are things that you can check in Swar Farm with data logs and data logs into summoning and summoning. Then we're going to go for unknown scrolls. Like who the hell normally checks unknown scrolls? But doesn't really matter too much for this case. We can check over here that we have a 74.3 a 24.3 and a 1.4 and then the question is do you actually want to use three stars for also feeding them into like six stars because it's a little bit more annoying because you do also get like the uh what's called like the skill ups and those kind of things so it takes a little bit long if you would feed them into six stars it is a bit easier so that's just something that you could choose so i'm gonna write it down and then also remove it so you can see the back and forth because in the end there's not too much chance of getting uh three stars from this anyhow so then in game, we can also check how much is each star worth. So a one star is simply worth one point. A two star is two itself. And a three star counts as six. Then we can say for each of these unknown scrolls, how many stars rating do we get in total? That would be a total of 6,565 points towards leveling your units, 
which also means if we would need 600, then you would have a number of six stars, which is it's about 11. So that does also mean how much energy do we get? Well, that is that times 200. That would be this. And we compare that to this. So the energy that we normally get is energy known scrolls versus energy uh, buy, which would be uh, this number. So you can see that you do take a little bit more with that. However, there is two factors you have to still keep in mind. A, it costs, well, actually three factors. A, it costs mana, which does cost you a little bit more. B, we're making the assumption right now that we are only making five stars into six stars. Because the moment you make a four star into a six star, you first have to do a four star to a five star, which is another uh, 96. And if you want to do a three star into a four star first, it's, it's another 18. So therefore, this number would actually change to this. Therefore, you do get less energy on that. And therefore, you can see the trade is already a little bit less. And you could also say, I'm not using three stars for it. I'm only using one and two stars. So this would be zero in that case. And therefore, you can see this number already dropped. So therefore, we can actually see that these numbers are very even to one another. So then might you ask, like, okay, say, what would you recommend me to trade? Well, if you're very low on mana, maybe you just want to buy the energy straight away. However, keep in mind, you are going to need a known scrolls if you want to six star anything anyway. So you might as well buy the known scrolls and get those six stars in and then get the extra energy. Plus, you also get the Angel Mon. Plus, you also get the double EXP. You get a bunch of extra stuff there as well. So I would actually say everyone, I would recommend to buy the unknown scrolls. I would almost not recommend anyone to buy the energy or actually, no, I would simply not recommend anyone to buy the energy. The only thing that you could think of buying is maybe going straight for the mana because the mana might be actually a more interesting thing because in the end do you get a lot of energy from this no it's not really in a lot of amount of energy so let's transfer this amount of energy back to crystals and then compare this to what if we buy mana from it so the mana buy is a 120 points and you get half a mil mana from it so then for 10k points you will get 41 mil mana so let's make the assumption you have the plus 10 from the daily pack because otherwise I have to calculate that in as well. And then we're going to translate the energy that we get back to the amount of crystals. So there will be 5.7 buys and 5.7 buys times 90 crystals is going to be 500 something crystals with this. If we were to say uh, this one, then it is a little bit more. So that's just whatever you use. So the trade off on 10k points would be do I want to get 41 mil mana? Or do I want to get the worth of 500 crystals? I think that is the main thing that you're looking at. Uh, because this one in the end is just slightly worse anyways. And sure, this, is, this method is going to cost you mana. But you also get resource for just leveling up and all kinds of good stuff and making more six stars. So you have to make those six stars anyways at some point anyhow. So my, I would never buy the energy. That, that's the first thing. Never buy the energy. The only thing you could think of is do I want to buy the mana in trade-off to buying energy that will actually lead back to like spending less crystal so those are the two things that i would recommend you to buy that is up to you i think for most people i would recommend to go for the unknown scrolls and buy the extra exp i would also say it's not the best of trades we had better trades with different events in the past but i will be doing for every time that we have an event where you can buy energy or unknown scrolls or anything like that i will be making something like this to showcase what it is worth how it is worth what you can do with it you do also have the option of buying like a bunch of these crafting materials for runes and stuff. Worst trade ever, big scam, would never do it. Like those kind of things, absolutely not recommended to go for those. Don't buy those. Just aim for, well, I would say either one of those. And I would mainly focus towards this. Do not buy the energy. It is slightly bit a worse trade. But in the end, when you do this, this is just the energy cashback that you get. You also have to keep in mind the extra energy that you have for leveling that you don't have to spend if you use all of those three stars into a uh one level into a level one to a level 40 you also have to keep in mind the amount of double exp you get you also have to keep in mind the angel mons that you get which you don't get too much from angel mon these days in exp but it's just well it's never changed but it's just not that much in general so you do get a bunch of stuff extra from this and you can simply just max out all of those six stars that you have and i would recommend to place them in this shop so this is a shop where i keep all of my siege dupes or units that i maybe want to level at some point but in any case soon not going to be leveling you can just throw them in here as long as they don't have any runes 
and are not locked in, you can simply throw them here, multiple copies. You have this shop, it's up to like 300, so you can easily store a lot of them over there. So that's all there is for it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more good stuff like this. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.